what's up guys so let's just delve into like what is the difference between PowerShell and command prompt you know I, I remember thinking earlier in my career uh, you know before I was really into systems administration and systems engineering role that command you know I kept hearing about PowerShell and I would open it and I'm like oh cool it's a blue command prompt you know I can do oh I can ping and look at files and that kind of thing and that is true to a point and that, that's where they are similar, right? So Command Prompt and PowerShell are both consoles that interact with the system and uh, applications directly. But the difference is that Command Prompt is kind of a legacy shell. You know, Microsoft wanted to give this all-powerful thing that you could control all the system, you know, the entire system with and different roles and features of Windows Server. Uh, Basically, so you could administer an entire network with PowerShell without using a graphical user interface if you had to. So any command that works on Command Prompt does work on PowerShell, but it's also important to remember that PowerShell is a scripting language as well. So you can do a lot of programming things, uh, like setting variables, doing math, that kind of thing uh, with PowerShell. So I'm going to just kind of demonstrate that pretty quickly here. Um, bring this PowerShell right over and let's just go ahead and set a variable on Tyler family is equal to four so okay now I'm setting variables and I'm not gonna work with that so if I just want to print that back I can see oh hey okay cool it's four that's interesting so what what you know what more can I do this sort of programming well if Tyler family, I can do logical statements, right? If Tyler family is not equal to five, I can oops, write host, say, So if Tyler family is not equal to five, write to the host that, hey, Tyler family does not have five people in it. Oh, Tyler family does not have five people in it. So that's the kind of thing that you can do that you just can't do with command prompt, right? Like there's no real setting variables just directly in the command prompt. The command prompt uh, just is more text output. And this is where you start combining this programmatic thing, programmatic uh, nature of PowerShell with the commandlets and the object oriented stuff where you can start building robust scripts, particularly with Active Directory, which is kind of the focus of the series that I'm making, uh, to iterate through users and say, look, you know, maybe I want to, you know, in the example we're going to do later, I want to, you know, I have a fake school district in uh, Active Directory. I want all second graders to have to reset their password, you know, and you can use commandlets and you use the Active Directory module to do that, but that, that's why it's so much more robust than just uh, like, hey, I, I'm just running commands and getting the output back, you know, it's like I'm working with the system uh, to, to accomplish things. So that's it for this. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and keep checking out the videos, guys.